Hello and welcome to the Vermont State Lands Research Atlas walkthrough video. This tool makes it easier for planners, land managers, and researchers to access information and data to better understand trends and changes in our environment. In this walkthrough, we will be working through the basic functions and features of this tool. To learn more about VSLR, head over to the info icon on the top of the control panel. Here you will find more information about the Vermont State Lands Research Project the type of data shown here, who could use this tool, and the partners that made this project possible. All controls for this tool are located within the panel on the left hand side. To the right of the control panel is the map. This map displays each project that is housed within the VSLR represented as a single polygon or a set of polygons. Some projects are more specific about their location while others are more vague. These are settings that contributors can set as they add research projects based on the sensitivity of their research topic. Users are able to click and drag to move around the map and scroll to zoom in and out. Let's open up one of these projects to get more details. Let's say we were interested in a project within Southern Vermont. Let's open up this project. Opening up the project, you'll find the project title, a project description, a link to more information on the project which is housed within the FEMC data portal, the location of the point archived as represented on the map. For example, the current location of this point here is Hapgood State Forest. You'll also find a list of additional locations from the permit application for this specified project. The current status of the permit, whether it's active or terminated, which means that the permit has expired, and lastly, the date of the permit. I want to remind you that one research project can be represented by more than one polygon. The polygons represent more of the locations of the project. For instance, the Forest Bird Survey Project occurs throughout Vermont. Heading back to the main control panel, you'll be able to filter through the various projects that we have in our database to control what gets displayed on the map. To filter by location, you can either type in the name of the area that you would like to focus on or scroll through the available options based on information gathered from the permits. To filter by year, enter a range of years that you would like to filter by in the two text boxes. If you would like to just look at projects that occurred within a specific year, enter the year in both text boxes. To filter by a specific theme, simply open the drop down box and select one of the five options available. Lastly, you can also filter by entering keywords or you can filter by selecting a set of keywords from the drop down list. Once you've selected your conditions, click the filter button to apply your settings. The map will update, excluding any projects that don't match your filter. As you can see here, these are all projects related to wildlife, birds, and occur after 2017, as well as are located in, within Camel's Hump, Aiken State Forest, and Mount Mansfield State Forest. To view the data as a table, you can toggle between the map and the table buttons at the top of the control panel. This will organize each project into a table. Clicking on the project titles will direct you to the project page on the FEMC portal. This will provide further details into the project. Heading back to VSLR, once you have filtered all the data that you want, you can go ahead and download the display data by clicking on the download button at the top next to the information button. You are able to download the tabular data as a CSV and spatial data as a shapefile. That concludes our walkthrough of the Vermont State Lands Research Atlas. For any questions on how to contribute data or if you have interest in helping to expand this project, please contact us at fumc 
at uvm.edu or www.uvm.edu slash fumc.